coming to you live. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kyle. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Boys of Summer by Don Henley. I can see. All right, this song's in the key of F sharp. We don't like that key on guitar. So we're going to go to the key of E, which means we need to take our capo and put it on the second fret. All right, so everything I say in this video is going to be E's, A's, B's, and C sharp minors because that's the key of E chords. Keep in mind, technically those should all be up a whole step. But I'm just going to say them that way because it's easier to understand. We're going to start with the strum pattern. We're going to mute our strings. I'm going to show you how to play this pattern first before I get into the chords. The pattern rolls throughout the whole song. So once you get it for the verse, you got it for the chorus and so on. We've got down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. At full speed. Get comfortable doing that without the chords first, and you'll just find it a lot easier when you have to focus on the chords if your right hand is just in the zone. Okay, so we're gonna start on a C sharp minor chord. The way we're gonna play this C sharp minor is we're gonna take our middle and put it on the 11th fret. We're gonna have the A string muted by our middle finger. It's gonna kinda like lean down to where it's touching it a little bit with the skin back there. Then we're gonna put our ring finger on the 11th and our pinky on the 11th for the D and G strings with an open B and E string. Strumming it together. Now to get that intro, -da -da -da, that little synth thing, we need to have a way to get from this note, the, where the pinky is, to the note behind it. So we're gonna put our index on the 10th fret, right behind where the pinky was. And when we play the first, the strum pattern, we're gonna take off our pinky to get that sound. Okay, so here it is in context with the strum pattern. Okay, so it's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. That's where you take the pinky off. Okay, then we move on to the A chord, which we're gonna play like this. Open A string. No, you can play the E string if you want, but really the open A's are most important. And then we've got our index on the ninth fret, D string, our pinky on the eleventh fret. G string, and then an open B and E. So we've got, so we've got. And to get that, ba -da -da, we need to get our pinky down to here. So we're gonna play. You can also take your pinky off to and leave the ring finger on that note if that's easier for you. Whichever one you prefer. I think I like the pinky slide. Then we move on to the B chord, which we're going to play like this. So we've got our index on the ninth fret, a muted A string, using our back of our index once again. 11th fret, ring finger. 10th fret, middle finger, G string. And then an open B and E. The beauty of playing in the key of E is that you can have an open B and E string on like every chord and it sounds cool. So. That's our B. To get the ba -da -da, we're gonna put our pinky on right here, right where it was before with the C sharp minor and the A. We're gonna leave it there with the B, and when we take it off to where the middle finger is, we've got that sound. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, so moving through the so I'll do a mini playthrough at the end of this song, but let's move on to the chorus and then I'll play through the whole thing at the end. So when you hit the chorus, you go to an E chord for the first time in the song. So an E chord is going to be like that C sharp minor from the beginning, but the index is going to be on the ninth fret A string instead and no middle finger. So you have open E, ninth, eleventh, eleventh, open, open. Okay, so the chorus starts with that E chord. We do that same strum pattern from before. Then we go to a B chord, but now instead of doing it here, we're gonna take these two fingers, like we did on the verse and intro, we're gonna take these two fingers up a string each and put our middle where it was uh, on the G string 10th fret. And we have 
it's kind of like an F bar chord, if you know your F bar chord shape, but up here on the ninth fret, and it's rounded out instead of barred. So it's 9, 11, 11, 10, open, open. And that's gonna be our B. We've got two measures on B. And then we slide it down two frets for an A, add nine. By the way, you can stick with the A that we did on the verses and intros if you want for this, but I like to just slide it down. Slide the B down two frets. Okay, so the chorus is pretty simple. It's just E, B, B again, and then A. Here is a mini playthrough of the whole thing from the intro to the verse through the chorus. Verse. Nobody on the road. And here comes the chorus. Going to that E chord. I can see. Back to the ver intro. There you go. That's going to be the intro, verse, and chorus. Slow the video down, play it at three quarter speed if that was too fast for you, and then work your way up to speed. Hopefully, this was helpful for you to make the song sound legit and fun. I had fun teaching it to you. If you need more help and guidance as a guitar player, download my Peak Potential Practice Guide. It's free, totally free. It's just going to help you if, they're, if you're uh, kind of a player who gets stuck a lot and wondering how to keep getting better, why you're not getting better as fast as you should, things like that. Uh, it's really helpful and it's a cool little checklist. So download that. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.